Oh, come on in. Hi guys, I'm Colleen. We're gonna make a three loop bow today. And it's gonna be so easy and I think you're gonna love it, okay? I don't want you to be scared of bows that are made by hand. A lot of times I use the bow maker, but it just works as another hand. The same techniques can be done right in your own hand. And this is a three loop bow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that easily. Now, generally you wanna start off with the tips of your ribbon, uh, either dovetailed or cut at an angle. That just helps with anything fraying and it looks like a nice finished look. So if you dovetail something, you just fold it and then you cut it from the part that's folded down. And then it creates this cute little chevron shape. And we call that dovetail in here in the industry. So it's just a nice little finish. And uh, you can do that to the ends of your ribbon and it looks polished and neat. For the bow I'm gonna make today, the first tail is gonna be about 20 inches long. And yes, this is wired ribbon. If you're not familiar with it, it's really easy to work with, okay? And it makes your bows stand up and be so pretty. So once you get the 20 inches or about what you think you want your longest tail to be, just gather that up, okay? And then I'm gonna hold this in my right hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna hold it in my right. Now, I'm gonna bring the loop around, and I want this loop to be about six to seven inches. That's generally a go-to good size. And now I'm going to gather it up and we're going to start the twisting. You have to twist to get the right side of the ribbon back to the front when you make a loop. So that's why um, bow making has scrunching and twisting. So I scrunch to gather up in the middle. And you can see I already have a really pretty bow with two loops and two tails. You can have the tails go up and down or you can pull this one down and have them both go down. It's all in how you tie the wire or the finishing piece in the middle. I'm ready to add my next loop, because this is a three loop bow. So I'm gonna twist that center, hold that with those two fingers, and I'm gonna come back with another loop. Roughly the same size, you can make it bigger or smaller. When you get that third loop in, it's fun to be whimsical or, or make it all symmetrical, whatever you want, okay? And now my tails will go line up together. I'll have this one and this one that I uh, just scrunched at the front. Well, we gotta twist it actually because we want it to be on the right side. And we want that to be a little shorter. So I'm gonna cut it right about here, if it'll let me. Well, you can get it, get it any way you can. Cut that one. <laughs> cut it gently, there you go. Now, what I wanna do is come in the middle, and you could have done that first, I would have made it easier to cut, and take and put that cable tie in. Now you can use a wire, a pipe cleaner, a twist tie from a bread bag, whatever you want. You could come in here and add this. Now you see I don't have it tight all the way yet because I'm going to take and give it some fluffing before I get it tight all the way. So it's a three loop bow and these add a lot of dimension and I'm going to use this one in an Easter design we're making. What I want to do now is I want to add in the back either a cable tie or a floral pin depending if you're going to put it in like an arrangement. And let me show you what a floral pin looks like. It's a U-shaped pin you see it in my hand there? It's a little piece of metal shaped like a U. And if I'm gonna use this in a centerpiece or something where I'm putting it in foam, then we put that pin in right there. Easy peasy, now scrunch that down really tight. And I'm gonna cut this piece off here. Okay, so my finishing touch would be to add a little bit to cover the cable tie in the center. Now, if you're putting this in some type of floral where it's all gonna hide, you don't even have to worry about it. But if you're not, and you're concerned that that center mechanics might show, just take and cut a strip of about eight to 12 inches. You don't really need 12, eight to 10 is good, of ribbon. And I save this because this will give us some other centers that we can use later. And I'm gonna take and fold these in, just like this. And I get a nice clean little strip. See how clean that is? And that's what I'm gonna put right over the center here. Right over the middle, beautiful. So I get that nice finishing detail right there in the center of the bow. Just finish that off with a knot down here. Look how easy that is. And then just trim off those little tails. And basically you've almost got your three loop bow finished. The last thing I wanna do is come back and dovetail this piece here and cut it from the fold down. Got another pretty dovetail and this puppy's ready. How cute is that bow? You guys, if you don't already like 
subscribe and follow wherever you're watching this video. Uh, please do that. That way you won't miss any more of our content. And you know we're going to text you out whenever we post something new. Whether it's Vogue videos, new kits, new projects, workshops, or when design schools open for new students. We'd love for you to know about that first. So our text number is 832-734-5201 and just text us VIP. You'll be on the list and you won't miss a thing. Okay, Blue Marinos, I'll see you soon. Y'all go have fun with flowers. Bye, everybody.